whether you are a copper or a champion, there is one thing that everybody is worried about in the new season, and that is definitely your rank. Now, if you're not familiar, rank 2.0, there is no longer placements. However, there's still ranks that need to be achieved. So you might think in this video, I'm going to tell you to try super hard and do all this and this and this and that. But it's actually the complete opposite. You actually want to be caring less about your rank. Now, I'm not going to hit you with some BS advice, like be yourself and just try your best. No. But every player has the potential to tap into their flow state, and that's what's going to make you play way better. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you a lot of things that can help you tap into that flow state. And happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you guys had a great time with your families. You know, hopefully you ate a lot of good food. And comment down below what your guys' favorite Thanksgiving food is, because mine is definitely mashed potatoes. But anyways, let's get into it. So the first thing that's not mess up your new season rank is to obviously plan ahead of time. So what would you be planning ahead of time? So this could be like operator choices, you know, make sure you're playing the right attackers, the right defenders. How do you know you're playing the right ones? So mainly on attack, you want to look out for is people who have soft breachers. You want to pick Ace. Ace is one of the best heart breachers in the game right now because he's a super good gun. And also very versatile gadget. And honestly, the rest is really just pay attention to their secondary loadout because every operator in the game has a good gun. You want to be paying attention to EMP grenades, which will help you get the wall open faster for thermite and your heart breach. You want to look for gone six. You want to look for frag grenades. Now, even with the frag rework, they're still really good at clearing bulletproof stuff. Another thing you want to plan ahead of time is definitely your spawn point. I can't tell you how many times uh, so someone's playing thermite. And Thatcher, who is a literal three armor, has to run across the whole room and waste an entire minute just to get the wall open and get a banner trick. So make sure you guys are spawning the right points. Another thing you want to be playing ahead of time is definitely your sight setup, whether you're on attack or defense. On defense, you know where all the rotates are. Um, if you're not too familiar or new to the game, I would highly recommend just no the golden unspoken rule in the game is to be always always make a hole in between sites head holes or rotate hole if you want extra help on site setups look at my second channel or watch my streams at twitch.tv slash athena see me always using good site setups now on attack you just want to know how to break those down you know know where the rotate holes know where the weak points are in the site that way you know what room to take first because one of the worst things you can do on attack is play exactly how the defense wants you to play and for those curious these are called default setups they're called default because it's the thing that people will resort to the most because it wins the most. Another thing you want to be planning ahead of time is definitely plant spots. Plant spots basically dictate your entire push. You know, whether it's a rush, or maybe even if it's slower take. You know, that might, the slower take might be a harder plant spot, but it guarantees more success. But a more riskier one could be like a rush Amaru plant through a window. So you need to discuss with that yourself, with your team. That way you guys can change your attacking lineup, change your defending lineup to best do your strategy. And this is a bonus tip, so listen up. Challenger League coach, when I used to compete, had a really good example, and this was called a potential obstacle. You know, do you have a plan A, B, C, and D? and E. Yes, you heard me all the way up to E. You don't have to have all those plans figured out, but when plan A doesn't work, for example, let's say your heart breacher dies, something just goes wrong in the first thing, so you can't do your plan attack. That way you can resort to plan B. That way you can always resort to something different. That way you're not stuck the entire round, putting an angle, wondering what to do, and hoping something goes right, because it won't. So now that we got that out of the way, not messing up your new season rank is super, super dependent on this too. And that is solo queue versus five stack now i've said it a million times and you guys already know this too i tell you guys all the time don't solo queue five stack but athena it is really hard to five stack and i will tell you just add people now this is where you need to listen up. when i say just add people i'm not telling you to add every single random on the friends list in the lobby what i'm saying is be a good teammate in the game chat you know talk back and forth you know ask for things here and there just create small talk in game chat I'm not saying you have to frizz up your teammate or some shit like that just be a genuine human being playing the game eventually you're going to come across someone and they're going to invite you to their stack and boom now you have a first stack trust me it's not that hard you just need to be you just need to put yourself out there and those people will talk back with you but let's say you're in the case where you do solo queue maybe you just don't choose a stack and you just want to you just want to play solo and that's totally okay Here's what you need to do. When you are solo, you have to rely only on one person, and that is yourself. Do not trust anybody else. I don't care if they're giving call outs and they are the thermite and you are the thatcher. You cannot trust them to put it on correctly. Now, take that with a grain of salt at certain times. But what I'm mainly trying to say is, like I said, have the plan A, B, C, and D if that doesn't work out. But you generally want to kind of help your team, you know, pick like a like a lion or a nomad that passively helps your team with gadget wise but mainly you know where you're entering the building just get in somewhere get in the building and try to find at least a kill or two now when i say just a kill or two what i'm saying is check out your round where can you where's the weak point can you get inside the building across the map and then eventually creep your way up to a roamer trust me kills in this game are very easy you just need to be paying attention when or when is the right time to be pushing but don't take it too serious you shouldn't solo queue with the intent to win instead you should have the intent to just go positive in your kd you know just get more kills than you die that's but you mainly should be focusing on solo queue because there's so many different outside factors like teammates, slacky stuff, cheaters. You could blame anything you want. I wouldn't be surprised, but 
that's not going to help you. Now, if you're stacking, my advice would be for you is, like I said, plan ahead with your team. Make sure you guys are working on the same page. You know, you don't have Ash and Nomad on the roof and on the opposite windows across the map when you want to be pushing a certain way. Make sure in your stack, you're communicating with each other. You all have a common goal to work towards. And you want to do basic things like refragging. Refragging basically just means you're getting your teammates trade. They get a kill, you get the kill back. You get another kill, they get another kill back. And the best way you can do refrag is by creating crossfires. Crossfires are basically when you make a two-way gunfight for the same spot on an attacker. Let's say Ace is trying to walk through a room where you walk into a room, right? And he either has to decide in front of him or straight behind him. He can only choose one person at a time. So if he runs in, kills one guy, but the guy behind you refrags, that's what you always want to be doing. Now, there's going to be times where you have to take solo gunfights, but always keep that in mind whenever you're in a 2v1 or if you see a situation for that, hold back, reset your position, and literally make a line between you, your teammate, and the enemy. Trust me, this is going to save you so many more deaths and get you some one more kills but that's my biggest tip for a stack is definitely crossfires and trades i don't care what rank you're in how you play whether you're aggressive or a passive team just focus on those trades because at the end of the day that's what actually sticks into the game so when i say we don't want to fuck up our new season ranks what i'm talking about mainly is also your early and end round strategy this is typically where the rounds are determined early rounds this could be like on like on defense you know you're shooting drones are you staying alive are you creating pressure for the attack or is attack just coming in for free early round you have the chance to set the tempo whether you're an attack or defense early round no matter who it is you want to create that pressure on the opponent and use whatever strategies you have ahead of them so early round this can even apply for attack you know to get a drum pre-placed drone somewhere and that way you have extra intel in the room so that way you can enter a lot more safer now end round end round is obviously where the round means the most it doesn't matter if you got four kills that round and you still lose the round you lose the round and those four kills don't mean shit so end round whenever like you know, have 30 seconds left and it's still 4v4 there is so much potential and it's going to be a lot harder to win but you have a lot more factors to work with so just be very careful especially when you're on defense to not throw the man advantage if you have a 3v2 nobody on the team needs to peek now, i'm not saying you know lock yourself down and hands off the keyboard like you're freaking getting swatted no what i'm saying is do not take risky gunfights that could put your team at a man disadvantage or equal man advantage for no value now remember with the refragging if your teammate says hey let's let's double team this guy he kills one of you guys but you get, immediately get the refract now it's a 2v1 that's value and now after getting the trade in the 2v1 you're now able to create a crossfire which makes it an impossible way to win the round for the attacking team do you see when you patch up these early and end round holes in the round it will make so many more rounds that you should be winning winnable because nobody likes to lose a round that was super easy oh i should have done this oh we should have just done that it was so easy you don't want that to happen but all that knowledge does not matter and it's all gonna fumble with this last thing to not fuck up your new season ranked and that is be more comfy guys no 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 i'm not saying you know some stupid thing like oh just try your best oh you lost the round at least you tried your best no that's not what i'm saying what i mean by being comfy is tapping into your flow state what is your flow state your flow state is when you just make a ton of right decisions and you don't even have to think about it it just comes naturally so different ways you can play more comfortable and play your game is first thing you'd be is your settings are you playing on a super high sense or super low sense do you feel uncomfortable in your sensitivity if you feel uncomfortable moving your character what makes you think you're gonna kill a lot of people so make sure you're maximizing your fps how your game looks brightness settings get that all figured out first now another thing to make you play more comfy is your all obviously your mood if you just got home from a long day of work because your boss was yelling at you your teacher was yelling at you you're obviously gonna be in a bad mood right so you gotta try your best to not bring that into siege because then it's gonna make you more frustrated and we all know we, we all have a hate relationship hate love relationship with siege and it can piss you off very fast so just always keep that just be like just conscious about it am i stressed today should i maybe take a break from the game so your mood is like super super key one of my favorite things to do and i've been doing it for a while you guys see me do on stream all the time is your music guys play some music how can you be mad that you got spawn peaked when you have freaking little baby playing you know you're just you're just too busy jamming out so guys just play music in between rounds you know that way you can kind of lighten up your mood too and even just other things like chatting with friends if you're vibing have a good time you don't care that you guys lost the game y'all were too busy you know having fun with the rush or having too much vibes so when you're chatting it up like that and the vibes are just great you need to care less so many people just are so hard on themselves and they're like oh man i suck at the game i can't win any gunfights they're too busy talking negative to themselves because they're not winning all the time but if you care so much about the game like you're gonna see every single wrong aspect instead of every like good aspect that you can change now when i say care less i'm not saying a rush every round and be like oh i tried my best no no, no no 
but you just gotta take it lighthearted, man. No matter how you die, you be like, oh man, that sucks. Uh, maybe I maybe I should have done that next time. Whatever. You gotta have the it is what it is, man. You no, know? it doesn't matter what's going on. You're just it is what it is. Try that actually. Whenever like the most tragic thing happens, you lose a one v five that was your last game to rank up. It is what it is. Because when you have a natural play style and you don't force it, trust me, everything just flows so much better. And Siege becomes the best game in the world. I also see that a lot. Like people try to do like crazy roams. They do strats they've never done because you know, oh, this might win us the game. No, you throw so many good games and you know when you, when they know they're going up against a good player, you do too much. You start doing random things you never do, and then you instantly top out, tap out of your natural flow state, and you don't want to do that. So guys, like treat it like a video game. You know, there's always next time. Do not be so hard on yourself. But I'm telling you right now, as a person playing the game for eight years and played semi-professional, I can tell you all these things work, even in the current meta. I appreciate you guys for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to check out my Twitch stream. This is where you can ask me questions, whatever you want. Also, get my in-game charm. is the boba charm. Helps you get a little bit more kills and rank up a little bit faster if you get my charm. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck on the new season. Don't forget to play Tuberau, and uh, don't TK anybody, please.